What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Money's Funko Pops. I am of course Money and today I'm making a video that I normally, uh, the type of video that I don't normally like to make here on the channel because it is a little negative. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm a little frustrated with the retailer which you guys can of course tell by the title of this video but I still wanted to kind of come on here and talk about my experience with this retailer because time after time again they've let me down and they've disappointed me and they've sent me some pretty crappy stuff in the mail and especially it's a pop that I've been looking forward to since I ordered it back in March when it was announced. My frustration with GameStop today is of course the way that they handled an order that I put through with them for the Yu-Gi-Oh! GameStop exclusive uh, Obelisk the Tormentor. So the timeline here is that I placed this order in late March, early April, and I placed it alongside of the 10 inch, or excuse me, the six inch Exodia along with it. I was like, okay, cool. I can bundle these two together, get a break on shipping and be able to get the GameStop exclusive. Now, of course, due to the pandemic, retailers have been delaying things and Funko themselves have been canceling products altogether. So my frustration with this order isn't the fact that my order got delayed until August. My frustration is with the way that it uh, arrived. And I actually posted this on my Instagram story. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I opened up when I got my Obelisk the Tormentor in the mail. Guys, we have to talk about something devastating that just happened to me. Look how they shipped my Obelisk the Tormentor. I have been waiting for this pop since March. And this is how they fucking sent it to me. Oh my god. And here it is. The box is still uh, pretty banged up. Actually, I'll just kind of rip this thing apart and I'll show you guys exactly what we're dealing with here. Uh, what I did was I actually took my uh, Walking Dead compendums for the first three, uh, you know, big sections of the Walking Dead comic and I uh, kind of sat them flat on top of the box. I took Obelisk out, took the insert out and I put all those on top of it to kind of try and flatten the box down to make it as flat as possible. But uh, this thing is damaged beyond belief. And I mean, the bottom flap is all jacked up there. I'm sure you guys will be able to see that from the Instagram story that I posted. But here's kind of the aftermath of it. Uh, this flap's real jacked up. This whole side is all jacked up. And believe it or not, the, uh, the plastic insert itself is actually broken. It's all damaged here. The plastic is all broken back here. I mean, it's just, it was such, it was a pop that I was so excited to get my hands on. And I've been waiting for so long and then it just arrived so messed up and that was just really disappointing to me. So um, I've always had beef with GameStop. I've never felt that doing business for collectibles with GameStop was something that I wanted to do. I would much rather do an order through a local store or a local spot or a small business that I know on Instagram, like Mandrill Toys, uh, Stop, Pop, and Roll, Shop, Pop Online, uh, Spastic, even all these different smaller shops who I think uh, are deserving of the business more than these retailers. And also I think these smaller stores will also treat your items with much more care. For example, Danny and I ordered the specialty series Dwight at Sith Lord from Mandrill Toys, and it shipped in 10 hours after I ordered it and it was shipped priority and at my front door literally two days later, they shipped in a pop protector. It was so well kept. I did a video unboxing here on the channel and I just kept talking about how awesome that shipping was from such a small shop. And then you have a corporation like GameStop who shoved Obelisk into a box and then smushed them down, put bubble wrap on one side that did absolutely nothing. And this is how their exclusive arrives. So, um, very frustrating for me to have gotten this. This isn't the only thing that I got from this order. Um, I also ordered two Angela with sprinkles from the office because as you guys can see, GameStop's shipping here is atrocious. So I ordered two of them just to kind of see uh, which one I could get in better condition for Danny's collection. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go with, I think it's this one. I'm not really too sure which one it is, but we'll go ahead and we'll keep one of these and then the other one we'll probably just use to trade for some other Marvel or some other Disney pops that we're both after. I didn't mind uh, getting a double just for the sake of getting one that was in good condition. We'll be able to trade the extra one away. So uh, like I said, guys, this video was kind of just a little rant about how I am frustrated with GameStop shipping. This is not the first time that I've dealt with GameStop doing something shady like this or 
um, not really treating their collectibles with care when they ship them. And I don't mean to sit here and sound like somebody who has nothing better to do but complain about a company. And I don't mean to sit here and complain about a company. Of course, I get it. It's, it's a collectible at the end of the day. But on the other hand, I did pay money for this. And when I called customer service, they were very nice on the phone. They were very helpful. However, they're not going to be able to get me a replacement for five to six weeks. So we are looking at October until I'll be able to get my hands on this Obelisk the Tormentor in hopefully better condition. There's not even any guarantees that I'll be able to get this thing in better condition than this. They, they might ship it the same way again because it's GameStop and that's just kind of what they do. Um, so that's kind of my experience with GameStop with this Obelisk. I, every time I order from them, I just keep telling myself, why do you keep doing this? Why do you keep giving them your money? And they, they keep getting these good exclusives like Angela with sprinkles. What an awesome exclusive. I think that there should be a little bit more care put into that for people who are giving you money so that you get your item in at least better condition like this. I'm not expecting something mint. I just want something that's better than literally crinkled. And as you guys can tell from, again, from that video, something that looks like it was like accordioned. And uh, you know, it's just, just disappointing at the end of the day. I wanna hear from you guys down below in the comments. Have you guys ever received a pop in terrible condition like this Obelisk the Tormentor? Make sure you guys drop me a comment down below and let me know your worst Funko shipping experience from GameStop, from Target, from Walmart, from the Funko shop, wherever it may be. Make sure you guys drop me a comment down below and let me know why it was so bad and which pop it was. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely always appreciate the support and I will be seeing you guys soon. What's up guys, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more content that I post here to the channel. Down below me, there are two different videos. You have my suggestion, which is the video that I suggest you watch, or you can click next video, which will take you to a video very similar to the one that you just watched. So thank you guys so much for your support and I'll see you soon.